The Brothers of Liberty, here to remind you what true freedom is. Hello and welcome to another edition of The Brothers of Liberty with the older brother Kelton here. Um, in this video, we're actually going to be talking about Cherokee County School District out of Georgia. The chairperson of the school board says the parent is out of order. Why was the parent out of order? Well, she was um, saying some sexually explicit things at the school board. Was she reading it out, a porn ma out of a porn magazine? Nope. She was reading it from a book in school libraries. Yes, you heard that right. She was reading an expert out of a book that's in the school libraries in the school district. But yet the parent was cited for being out of order because children could be listening to the meeting. So, I mean, I may not be a smart man, but if children, minors could be listening to the meeting, and all she's reading is from a book out of the children's school, why would you care what is being said if it's from a book that you approved? Seriously. Because they even admitted that it was approved. But yet now you can't read it at the school board because students could be listening. But I guess they want students to read it for themselves, right? Um, you know, it's funny how parents always get ostracized and stuff for what school board members do. But never the school board members. Um, for instance, uh, uh, a month ago. Now, mind you, this incident happened on... Uh, March 18th and a lot of it and I actually saw the video then but it didn't actually start getting reported until like March 25th March 24th it took a whole week don't know why that would be um, and also in Glenbrook Illinois school board meeting just because a parent took off a mask so they could speak at a podium the chair of the school board member was telling him to put the fucking mask back on Yes, the effing mask back on. Um, so, and there was children present. And he kept using the F word. You know, my videos, I say it's not for children. All right. Um, so, it's not for anybody under 18 because sometimes we do curse on here. And, um, but when a school board person is doing it in front of kids because someone's not wearing a mask because... The dictator and lord don't don't want you to have an opinion of your own or freedom of choice. And curses. But when a parent reads something from a school, from a book that's been approved by the school board, the parent gets is out of order. But the school board member is never out of order. This is the kind of society we live in, people. The people in authority... Is letting the authority get to the head. They're not being public servants. They're not being representative no more. They're being lord and dictator of all. Just because they have that power. And maybe it's time to take out a few surety claims against those elected officials. Because mandates are not laws. You know. Especially when it's coming from the school board. When does school board make law? Just asking. When did school board be decide become legislature and say we're passing laws here? You know, they want to argue about the Florida bill, parental rights bill because it actually gives parents the right to what is allowed and not allowed in the school board. And they want to change name to it, say, no, it's, this is what it's called. It's called do not say gay so we can... Uh, teach so we can indoctrinate the kids and not teach give them an education. We want to think we want to teach them what to think, not how to think. So they can stay in power for years and years, and that's how dictators are born. So yes, the people who are out of order is the school board, not the parents. And sooner or later, when it comes election time, the parents, as in many other cities, will remind the school board members who is in charge. And it's not them. It is the parents. But that's just my opinion on it. Like, share, subscribe. And 
if you have any comments do you want to put in there put in the comment box we we love open discussion maybe we can find common ground like how the United States was meant to be not extreme right extreme left but the common ground and if you have any ideas you want us to discuss or anything you want us to pass along, brothers of liberty 76 at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. And once again, this is the Older Brother of Liberty reminding you what true freedom is and ought to be.